today we're at Osos Community College celebrating the 40th anniversary of hip hop. The show is called Hip to Hop, and you've got Full Circle Productions, and you've got a sister company, Keep Rising to the Top from East Harlem. We definitely want to celebrate the anniversary, celebrate Osos Community College's 45th anniversary. So it's a beautiful time to be here. My name is Rockefeller. I am a B-girl, which means female break dancer. I have helped to co-found one of New York's only uh, B-boy break dance theater companies known as Full Circle Productions, Inc. Alongside of my husband, B-boy Quickstep. We've been doing this type of like performance development you know we work with young people try to develop them as their amateurs to understand what it takes to be a professional dancer you know dancing as a career and a lifestyle to understand the history and the roots of hip-hop hip-hop dance in particular and to help them to think about options alternatives as they get you know more further along in their career when out the corner of my eye there he is I cute. nobody was paying him no mind did I tell you he was I move my book to the other hand and I grab the pole because, you know, I want to have a better sideline and be comfortable. So I take a look and our eyes meet and it was like the DJ dropped the beat. I became a part of Full Circle Soldiers in 2001. I have a career as a performer and as a dance instructor, so this only adds to my belief system in regards to promoting and preserving the art of hip-hop, dance, and culture. I've been with Full Circle for about four years now. I guess you could say I was very chaotic beforehand. However, with Full Circle, I got introduced to structure through them. I started with Full Circle Productions when I was 13. They are my mentors and trainers from that time to now. As I'm now, I'm, I'm a professional dancer. Like, I dance, I teach, and um, I just want to keep expanding that. And I want to teach at schools and develop, and I want to keep growing. With this company, we have expand and like, you know, having newcomers come in the company, like we're all growing, like we're all doing like our own individual like stuff. The Youth Channel. Youth-led, community-oriented. What up, y'all? DJ KS360, also known as Quick Step from Full Circle Productions. You're watching the Youth Channel. Tune in. I have a company called Full Circle Productions. When I was about, I said 19 years old was the concept when I started it. And 
And at the time, hip hop was being separated. I wanted to dedicate my life to making sure that the elements of hip hop were together, because that's, you know, what made the impact around the planet. I made a production company along with my wife into a non-for-profit company and it became a worldwide hip hop collective. And in there we do theater, documentaries, uh, we do um, music production, everything's in-house. We learned all of that from the multi-disciplines of hip hop. Because when you actually do hip hop, you're actually an entrepreneur and a producer. So from the get-go, you're already doing production. So I said, why not implement that for real? And so I made it into a non-for-profit. And from there we started teaching the youth about hip hop and knowledge yourself, which is the most important element of hip hop, because without knowledge yourself, you don't know where you're going and you need to know your past in order to go forward. I strut up the block, jump on a train, grab a seat, anticipating the rhythm of the train tracks under my feet. I turned my head and I saw my new friends. Damn, I didn't want this day to end. But I knew one day I would see them again. So they sent me all for the universal gesture. Running a dance company takes a lot of different positions, so you can't always be just a dancer. You have to have assistants, people who are very savvy with media or technology or bookkeeping or um, just being able to help out with some sort of clerical duties, you know, in the office. The money, I brought some of the bad boys on, I put them on. I felt so Latina. <laughs> but I do remember the first time I met hip hop. I've been dancing since I was eight years old and all different kinds of styles but breaking it was just something that pulled me towards it and I just I don't know I guess you know everybody knows what they're drawn to and for me it was breaking and that's where I am that's what I'm doing right now because we in a city a big city and everyone's running to and fro and no one really connects with each other and it's important for us to to, to do that and you can do that through art and people come together and they share and it's more open. Being around them I get to learn more about um, the theater, uh, learn about putting productions together and even learning how to teach and I've learned other skills in that uh, matter and also the fact that I, I teach now like I get to actually teach other little kids now how to dance. I teach yoga and I teach breaking so it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Inspiration, focus, dedication, and goals. If you have those things, beside the normal elements of what people say hip-hop is, those are elements of life. Elements that you need in order to keep you on a straight and narrow, because there's so many distractions in the neighborhoods that you could fall to the wayside from being statistic, either a murder statistic, a drug statistic, an alcoholic statistic. So you need to up the ante so you stay away from the odds of becoming a statistic. So if you have these things on your side, the less odds you have of falling into uh, the statistic of what people normally put us in. That's why you need things like that.